Hello, and welcome back again to Staffy Plays Minecraft. Um, last episode I had to cut short because my cat got sick on the dining room table, so I kind of had to clean that up. And, um, so that kind of killed the whole thing. That I, I, um, hit the, hit the off button on my, uh, my, um, yeah, my hypercam. <laughs> I guess I haven't woken up yet. I guess I need a cup of coffee or something. Yeah, pig, you know what? You enjoy life? Yeah. Come back here. Because you were oinking and, and making... Yeah, there we go. Give me your bacon. Thank you. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, I had a bit of a snafu there. And uh, I ended up saying, you know what? I'll just I'll just uh, turn that into an episode all by itself. Was just short enough to fit within the upload limit of YouTube, so I was like, "Yep, yep, it's a, it's a, uh, it's gonna be an episode." But that's the reason why it was a singleton and not a multi-parter, and I had intended to show you a bunch of other stuff on that episode, but it didn't happen. So, where are we gonna pick up from there? Well, we're gonna pick up here in Huntersfield, and this is a town I built to um, make uh, an out outward base. When I was building a project. A lot of times when I'm building a large project, I have to build an outward base, an outlying base, so I don't have to hike all the way back to my main base where I store most of my stuff. And that makes things easier so that I can uh, I can build without having to worry about heading back. The downside is that I end up having all kinds of chests everywhere that have random stuff in them that I eventually am going to um, move back to my main base, which is where my storage is. Yeah, see, I still got stuff in this one. In this one. Oh, close down. Hmm, cool. All right. Uh, for a long time, this was my first uh, tree farm. I know it doesn't look like a tree farm now because I've kind of <clears throat> grown up all the... Cut down all the trees, but back when I was making my... Uh, one of my larger projects, I had this completely covered in trees. It's also the pl first place I actually decided to make a farm. As you can see, I have nothing growing at the moment. But this is kind of where I'm, I'm farming, or where I farm wheat, if I need wheat to farm. So, yeah. Uh, this is also one of my main sugarcane fields, so I, uh, I grew a lot of sugarcane here. This is, uh, this is the best way I, I, th I thought of to uh, make a... Um, field. I have the water running underneath here go all the way to the end. Works pretty good. It's gonna be night, so let's uh, head on over to my shelter here. Before I uh, head off, I'm gonna show you something here. Before I head off, this for a long time, this picture right here was my wallpaper on my, uh, that's a nice picture of the moon rising, isn't it? Uh, this was the wallpaper on my computer, although the sun was setting and genie, no, sorry, I have a cat climbing my computer. <laughs> and, um, so that was it and I had the sun setting over here, it's a very nice picture. I call this Hunter's Field because I thought to myself, hey, you know what would be really awesome is if I actually tried to hunt and uh, hunt mobs out here. So um, I turned up the difficulty for really the first time and kind of just went hog wild killing stuff out here. So actually, you know what? Uh, even though I said at the beginning of this I'm going to run this at peaceful and it is nighttime, that's... Uh, Let's uh, let's do some little action here. Let's get this episode uh, full of some some action. Turn the, turn the difficulty up. Not uh, too far, just enough to get some critters going on. Cause I'm wearing armor. I've got a sword. Um, do I have? Whoop, wrong button. Do I have bow and arrow? I do not. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, there's an Enderman. Some zombies, I see. Creeper. Skeleton. Yeah. 
Yeah, come on. Come at me, bro. Oh. Spider eye. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, don't don't look at the Enderman. They uh Bad things happen when I look at Enderman. Things where I get killed. It's not good. Mm, yeah. Get action in your bones. Oh, you're coming at me? Yeah. How's that working for you? Take that. <laughs> I always drop my sword. Crap. Man, I am just destroying my world over here, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't blow up. Dang it! I never seem to get creepers not to blow up on me. I better eat some. Alright, we're done with this. Yeah, I'm about to die, so, yeah, we're not going to have that one anymore. And I've excav excavated quite the hole, so. Yeah, that was, that's usually how I fight. Can't seem to get creepers not to blow up on me. All right, let's get get this back to morning. Okay. Oh, I lost my helmet. Ah, oh, crap. Oh well. That was a nice helmet. Close. That was a nice helmet too. We have a tower I built here for looking out over the the hills and uh, surveying my my world. Well, fortunately, most of the explosions happened on the other back side of this, so I'm never going to see that stuff, really, so, yay. I try not to screw up my world too much, it's, uh, I kind of like how it looks, the way it is. I like the natural, um, default look of things, so. I'll just make the cork. 
No, but I do have mushroom stew. Eat that. Mmm, stew. Jenny. Well, we're going to show you the first, well, not the first thing, the um, thing I am particularly most proud of in Minecraft here in a minute. Um, and it's not this, but this is pretty awesome, too. I built a, a causeway around this little lake and uh, this little deserty area here. Whoa, there is a hole here. Um... All of these blocks were created before sandstone was a um, block that you could make um, just by digging four down at the bottom of most places. So um, it, it took me a little bit of time to dig, dig all of this up. I just want to point that out because this I used sandstone a lot before I before that update occurred and to see all of this sandstone means that for every block I had to dig four blocks of sand out and uh, that's that should make things slightly more impressive for you just just an understanding basis and on top of that these blocks here um, obviously they still have to be mined and then you have to cook the cobble and then you have to make slabs out of the smooth stone to get these so yeah A lot of work, a lot of work went into um, my my world, so I'm just hoping that you guys can appreciate all the hard work I've done. And here is the thing that I am particularly most proud of, coming right up here. And you're thinking, oh, it's an arch with something heading out, and that's pretty much a big hint as to why I, I'm going to show it to you. That's an abutment. This is the Three Rings Bridge. It is a bridge that I built, and it took me, oh, about a week to do. About four days or so. Constructed March 24th, March 28th. And I call it the Three Rings Bridge because... Hold on. Let me get a good view of it here. We're going to climb trees. Yay! Because it is a triple arch suspension bridge. Oh, there we go. That's a better view of it. You can get a better view of it there. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a road deck that I counted as 270 blocks long. I think it might actually be a little bit longer than that. And it is 32 blocks high at the very top. Um... It is structurally, um, well, I wouldn't say structurally precise, but I did make the effort to make it look, at least from an engineering standpoint, look sort of correct. The embutments are sitting in the water, and they go all the way down to the ground. They all go all the way down to the seabed. Now, as you can see here, there's some flowing waters because originally, originally the uh, the bridge was a causeway, like I showed you back at the bay where I had that shelter and the other causeway. This is uh, this I decided to build because I said to myself that little causeway looks but ugly, and I wanted to build something that looked nicer.